Oh god! Was that? Oh. Yeah, that was the right. Is sorry. <laughs> uh, Off the side she goes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. We're almost through here, I think. Oh god! Freaking! I'm out of grenades. No, stop. Push. 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 P push. There we go. Get up, Liara. You get knocked down, but you gotta get up again. Ugh. There's no end to these things. Do some of them just not res? Yeah, I think if you move fast enough, some of them just kind of stay put. I'm hoping I didn't miss any of them, because that would be butts. Okay. Spec 5 for me, please. Get some! Y'all. Gotta die. Die now. Hope we didn't skip the Asari. I don't know where she went. Cool. Man, this is a tough one. Oh god! Oh god! Ooh. Oh jeez! Uh. Pop, pop everything! Pop all the cooldowns! Uh, are you talking to me or? Y yes! 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 Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Run! Oh my god! Uh, uh, too many! Too many! Leave me alone! Unity has that much of a cooldown? It. Yes. Okay. Wow. Alright. Unity has that much of cooldown when you're uh, um, when you're a soldier. You can actually get two uses of Unity, though. I'm free. I, I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Hi, lady. You okay? Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve. I served Matriarch Benezia. Okay. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. How's that possible? Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. Oh. Hmm. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. 
But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. I need there it now! I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Oh, okay. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself yeah. to the universe, Commander. And Ignore the eternity. rickety camera movements. Steven Soderbergh's Mass Effect. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Whoosh. given you the cipher just as it was given to Saren the ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now what was that commander Shepard are you all right it was considering you know we don't know exactly how the indoctrination works at this point it's like yeah. Shepard took a big gamble that she wouldn't have just been like instantly like brain melted yeah I her. think I kind of want to go to the doctor and get like checked out after that she messed up my mind <laughs> <laughs> Something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. Thank you, Leora. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Okay, let's uh, in interrogate her because this is kind of important. All right, strap her to a table, get some water. The when the creature enveloped me, I became part of it, but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent, it transcended Gnarly, all classification. tubular, radical. And now it is gone. It's not the Mario bonus levels. Huh? Uh, you sound almost sad. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Mm. Okay. Um, I can kind of understand that. Uh, so, personal questions. I want to know more about you. You come there here often? There's nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. 
Okay. Well, that makes the matriarch look a lot less bad. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. Control? You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Venezia. Venezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Venezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? Granted. There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. All right, well, so what about you? Sorry, what? That just makes things more interesting. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, what should we do with her, though? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. No, that's good. I, I kind of believe her, actually. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. I love that. It is kind of refreshing to be a colony that no one cares about. <laughs> After all this. Yeah. Because if you were a colony people cared about, you get freaking death, Krogan, corporations, giant plant creatures. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Alright. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you... Alright, cool. I wonder if there's any colonists we can talk to, or... Is the screaming guy around? I don't know. But this this guy, we, we did his quest, and he's fine. Hello, Commander Shepard. Ah! What, what's the problem? I thought we fixed it. No, he actually is always like that. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, alright. Let's go to assignments. Sorry. Oh, I think I actually messed that up because I couldn't inform him. Tell Phaedon, yeah, you, uh... You couldn't inform him because you were too busy putting a bullet in his face. <laughs> so that's that quest is never going to be completed, apparently. Oh, well. Um, okay, that's something we can do outside. That's another thing we can do outside. Okay, that's another thing we can do outside. So we're done here. We're done here. All right. So, so basically, yeah. That's I just messed up that one side mission, but that's not a big deal. The bottom line is you saved the colony. Oh, hey, it's the freaking guy. I thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. You were talking about him. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Okay, cool. So we might be able to buy, yes. Buy a thing. The equalizer. Sweet. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. Awesome. So if you'd killed them all, you just come here and there's nothing here. Is that right? Yeah, basically. And you you feel like an asshole <laughs> because the colony's just gone.
All right. Well, that was basically Phar Pharos. From here, we're gonna probably leave and head back and uh, turn in some stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, we can check with the crew after, but um, for now, this is a pretty good stopping point. So, all in a good day's work. Yo. It's going to bother me, though, that, that quest is going to be in my inventory for the rest of the game, and I'm never <laughs> going to be able to turn it in because I forgot to. It's nice that the quest doesn't just automatically complete itself on the death of the quest giver. Yeah. Like, even if you failed it, even if you don't get a reward from it, it should just remove itself, because, the, you know, the inner-retentive players aren't going to enjoy that. Decontamination in Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I was just brain probed! <laughs> My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. All right. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. My head's gonna explode, apparently. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Oh, that's something apparently all Asari can do. Embrace the infinite. Stay holy. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I, I, I never dreamed. I don't get why they I'm chose sorry. to make such the were so vivid. gory imagery. Like, if you're learning about the Prothean culture intense. overall, wouldn't we also Remarkable see, like, more of them what you have been without being dissected? What you have seen would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Caden, we were just Our talking about she was seeing things, Caden. Bro. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Welp. I guess this was pointless then. No. Uh, uh, mm. I'd go with the neutral option. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. You okay? Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Dismissed. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Uh. That wouldn't work. Or don't Exogeny be stupid. Tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best then. At least the colony was saved. Of course, it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Oh, don't give me that shit! Goodbye, Chancellor. <laughs> oh, lost the connection, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> don't even give me that shit. <laughs> Not even remotely amused with that little aside. After all of that. Anyway, okay. Off camera, I'm going to do a few side quests and go talk to the crew and lace it together so we have a nice dialogue without me jumping from deck to deck to deck to deck. Okay. And then we'll be back with more Mass Effect. And um, probably go check on that other DLC and see how that compares. Excuse me. To the um, Pinnacle Station DLC. <laughs> the Pinnacle Station DLC was 10 bucks. This one was free. So which one do you oh. think is better? Uh, I, I'm going to assume the Pinnacle Station one's the better DLC. 
because if they required 10 bucks from you for that, then the free DLC is probably just like a game crashing bug. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Mass Effect.